right, thank you so much, Dan. I mean, that's a story that hits home to so many families. It really does. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's take a look outside now over Mount Clemens at 617. And we have lots of, we have some clouds outside. Typically on a clear day, we'd be looking at blue sky, not this morning. We have a little fog out there, it seems like. Yeah. It seems it seems a little, you know, foggy, spooky, yeah. if you we, will. Yeah, we got some out there. If you saw any type of rainfall yesterday, mm -hmm. more than likely the opportunity to see mm -hmm. fog this morning will be there. And the more rain you saw, the more the thicker the fog will be. Eventually it'll clear up, though, but more rain and storms in the forecast again today. But it's a refreshing change that's just right around the corner. The muggy meter is going to dip, and that's going to really cool, cool things down, but also dry things up. But then we heat up going into next week with temperatures going up near 90 degrees. And so far this month of July, we haven't had many opportunities to say that. So here's a look at the fog, the trouble spots from Monroe through Ann Arbor, all the way up towards Flint. These were the locations that actually cashed in on the most rain yesterday. And the darker the gray, the more dense the fog is closer to that quarter mile or less. We use that as a threshold because if it's that low with the visibility, that's dense enough where it could slow you down. So most of the trouble is out to the west here. Otherwise, temperatures mid to upper 60s, holding on to some sunshine to start and some spots around Windsor as well as Port Huron. The chance of rain, just like yesterday, it's going to be scattered to spotty at best, and it looks like it ramps up just a touch late tonight, and that's actually going to work in our favor. I'll explain why in just a moment. For today, spotty showers will be passing through, just like yesterday. Not a guarantee that everybody will cash in, but the chance will be there. Temperatures close to where they belong. 84 is average, going with a high temp of 83 in the city of Detroit. So let's talk about some good news here. There's a cold front that's on the way. Usually these cold fronts, when you have humidity in the atmosphere, they can trigger showers and storms that can go strong to severe. The timing of this boundary does appear to be late tonight into early morning Wednesday. If that pans out for us, it's going to reduce the threat of severe weather. So that's some good news for us as it cools us down. 80 will be a struggle to get there on Thursday. So life behind the cold front is going to cool us down. Even the muggy meter drops, so overnight lows will be in the mid to upper 50s. We turn it around though. Look at the high temps for the weekend and beyond. Highs near 90 to start. Next